Hey folks, I'm back for part two of my solar system, my 24 volt solar system. Uh, sorry you can't see that well. Um, I'm underneath the bed and I'm going to show you my solar charge controllers. Here we go. You should be able to see them better. Alright, so as you can see, I have three solar charge controllers, MPPT. Um, the reason why I went three is uh, if you're parked in a shaded area or par partially shaded area and two of the panels are shaded, the other four uh, will bring should bring in enough and they won't it will be it's hard to explain um but you'll get full power from the other four versus if you had uh, only one solar charge controller going to all three all six panels then you would lose a lot of power but going with three solar charge controllers uh, that uh, I guess you'd say circumvents that plus my my uh, solar panels are hooked up in parallel not series which is really good because if you hook up uh, solar panels in series and and you have two panels if the first one gets blocked you're gonna get nothing period doesn't mean doesn't matter if the second one is getting full sunshine if one of them is blocked, you then you lose power. Um, right below that, the green and red buttons is my uh, shore power disconnect. Uh, and then beside that is my breaker panel. And then below that is my inverter. They're all fused. Uh, the very last one, as uh, S2, which is Slave 2, is uh, that's the one for my trailer. So that doesn't uh, doesn't get used that often. Let, well, gets used quite a bit once I'm stopped. While I'm driving, I I, I don't have it connected. And then uh, there's my ground bo uh, uh, blocks ground blocks and if you notice I'm on my breaker panel the wiring I used I had a friend have a friend that was uh, um, a Texas master electrician and he told me I could use them and those what those are is, uh, I think it's 10 2 or 12 2 um, uh, extension cable and I cut them cut them off cut the ends off and I wired it in there and they're working great um, the bottom plug down there on the inverter right there um, is going to my uh, it goes down into the bay and then down in the bay it's got a, 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 a female adapter on it female plug on it and my extension cord from my trailer goes into that bay and plugs into that so and that stays plugged in all the time so even when I'm driving, the reason why it stays in all the time is because my refrigerator is plugged in. I have a secondary refrigerator in the trailer and it stays plugged in. And so to have that powered up all the time, I need that extension cord coming into that bay and plugged into that outlet to give me power in there for the, for the refrigerator. Um, it also gives me power for other things because I have a converter in there that changes AC to DC so I can have lighting in there I can have a fan in there well a fan runs off electricity um, but I have a few things in there like the for instance the uh, winch that I have in there it's gonna run off of uh, a converter also plus I'm gonna put a battery in there in the in the trailer eventually because I'm getting one of those uh, purple line uh, trailer movers uh, I'll have a picture uh, on the screen, but uh, 
uh, you disengage it and you can, uh, if you get in like a sticky situation, you just dis disengage your trailer from the bus and engage your trailer mover and you can move it quite a ways easily with that because it's remote control. Uh, as you notice, it's kind of uh, messy in here. I haven't gotten to the point of cleaning this part up yet. Uh, still trying to figure out my wiring on my trailer. Uh, that's that's the wiring mess right now, the rat rat's nest. But I had to order. Let me see if I can find it. I had to order a new one of these right here. It's a um, a uh, combiner uh, for brake and turn signal because uh, my trailer has brake and turn signal in the same bulb so I needed a combiner uh, so once it leaves the uh, bus it, uh, it, it converts the, uh, the brake and turn signal into one so you get the picture um that's really about all i okay then uh up there on the top right there i have that's for my um that's my breaker for my solar panels all of them and they all combine over there and then one come that one that top one there red one comes out and goes over the breaker box and goes there and then that comes down and goes out and goes to um, uh, the batteries and then that bottom one you see there that is coming from the batteries going to the inverter that watered up wire there is uh, my remote display for my inverter that wadded up one on top of the inverter the black one that is the remote for the blue skies um, okay let's go take a look at the uh, fuse box the DC fuse box by the way I, I finally got my cushion in for my this is my couch finally got it in yesterday or the day before so now I have a, another place to sit okay folks here's my um, DC control panel uh, down there on the bottom you'll see those two uh, brass bolts that's my shunt uh, for my um, uh, for my uh, charge controller uh, remote panel to be able to read correctly so I have two small wires I don't know if you can see them but two small wires down there that hook up to that and then they run up to my monitor or my remote display um, I had to make my own uh, uh, brackets for the wires to hold them uh, apart uh, the one with the the, shunt, the one with the shunts on it, the kit for the cables that's the uh, I believe that's the positive might be the negative I'm not really sure I can't remember um, above that is my pile uh, step down converter I think it's also could also be called a buck converter um, over here to the left, that's my uh, 30 amp uh, breaker for the pile. And then above that, I have my fuse box, which is still a mess. I'm still uh, adding things to this. Um, let's see what else. I'm getting ready to put a labels on the doors right here and over here uh, telling me what each branch or circuit 
uh, powers, so that way I don't have to guess anymore. But anyhow, I just wanted to give you a look at this. And then I have this thing here, this new thing that I just bought. Since uh, uh, many uh, inverters don't have um, uh, a, a alarm shut off, I added an alarm. So if my batteries get down to 28, uh, 24.8, uh, it sounds an alarm and I know to either plug into shore power or plug into my generator or um, shut the uh, inverter off because going down uh, that's actually a, a buffer there because uh, I can go actually go down to 20 uh, 24.6 uh, amps or volts and uh, before it harms the uh, starts harming the batteries so um, so I just I would just turn on uh, either turn on my generator uh, the only time I would probably be using that is uh, if I wanted to see how long my air conditioner could run uh, with just on the batteries with no short power and no uh, no solar all right so moving on let's go take a look at the outside I want you I got something I need to show you there So here's my here's my charger for while I'm driving when the engine's running. This is my charger for my house batteries, and it charges off my 12 volt battery here, my start battery. But what happens is when this okay, so here's my cable going in right here. This is the cable going in. You can see it down there. This one right there. Okay, so it goes into that box, and then the box steps up the voltage to 24. And then it goes out to my house batteries. Because um, I have a 24-volt system, so I had to... I really had to search trying to find this, and it's a you know a company called Sterling. Sterling Energy, I think it is. But it was uh, quite expensive. That's one of the drawbacks about having a 24 volt system is um, you got to do step downs and step ups. So this um, this thing here has a uh, relay in it and when you turn the ignition on uh, it closes the relay so that uh, voltage can go between here and my house batteries. I haven't got this thing set up all the way yet. Um, and I'm getting short on time, so I need to hurry up and do that. Anyhow. So, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Um, please, uh, most importantly, like and share. Uh, subscribe, and then that next to this subscribe button hit that little bell icon it will notify you of future uploads and uh, be safe and I'll see you next time